class clown. I'd probably say Hayden too. It gotta be Song. He's like probably like the most sarcastic person I know. Song, I would say, would be probably the jokester. Probably Song. People might see him as the guy that's always spitting out fire. Fire breather. He's the guy that's way too much face paint. But outside of football, he's a, he's a funny guy. He's not that probably scary looking guy you see on TV. I'll probably say Hayden Shu. Hayden Shu, he's kind of funny, he's a funny guy, you know. He's a sarcastic funny type of guy. Hey, Hayden Shu. I think Hayden Shu's a big jokester. His comedy is just different. Hayden Shu is kind of funny, probably because of red hair. It helps him a little bit because it's different. But what's not to love, huh? <sighs> Gotta pick myself. You have to make a good president, you know, he cares about people. Jake Elgin Camp, I think that's probably the safe pick. Jeff, for sure. I'd probably say Jeff again, to be honest. <laughs> Jeff Lindquist. <laughs> Jeff Lindquist. I'm gonna pick myself, you know? <laughs> nah. I'm trying to use somebody different, but I would have to say Jeff again. Definitely Jeff Lindquist. Without a doubt, Jeff, yeah. He's Mr. President, Captain, Captain America. Got the perfect mantra, you know, Captain America. Because we do kind of call him Captain America. <laughs> He looks like he fits into anything. He's got a mind for politics. I'm trying to keep this non-political, but Thank you. And if it was too political, let me know and I can redo it. Well, I love the guy. He's a great, phenomenal coach, and you know I'm gonna miss that. Just miss all his his wisdom. You know, all the things that he told us to like help mold us to the team we are today and the person I am today. There's two lessons that would really stick with me. is his whole concept of being an OKG, being just a good guy in all, all concepts of life. Because Peterson definitely reiterated it. Living up to your full potential, you know, and that's not even just on the football field, but just in life. I learned how to do the right things. I was fortunate enough to be around men that taught me how to do the right thing. Coach B just emphasized that message as I start going into an older adult. Being a real man just how important that is, whether it's with your family or your future family, your future wife, future kids, um, just in the community. Being a family man. Just about being prepared for life. He means what he says and he means well for all of us. The person that we all admire, the man that we all aspire to be, I think that the way he treats people with the utmost respect, regardless of who you are. Coach Pete is a world-class guy, you know, you don't get to meet someone like him every day. And, just the amount of respect he has for everyone. I think you might hear this a lot, but he, he's a good coach, but he's, he's an even better man. Um, you know, he's, a, he's the kind of coach that I obviously love playing football for, but I just like learning from about life. He makes the commitment to making you a better person, not just on the football field, not just in the classroom, but as an all-around person. And I think he's kind of, being away from my family for four years, he's become my father figure in that sense, which has been really cool.